Hey guys, what's up? Welcome and welcome back to my channel, LaMonica's Lab, if you're new. Today in the lab, we're going to be doing another foundation review. It is a new foundation on the market, and I just wanted to try it to see if I like it. It is the new Tarte Found Sealer Foundation. I know it's a weird foundation and concealer all in one, supposedly, but nevertheless, I'm going to be doing a testing of that foundation today. So as you guys know, on this series that I do here on my channel, I pick up at least three samples of a new foundation in my local Sephora. I then come home and I swatch it for you guys and we pick a shade or I pick a shade from there and then you guys let me know down below what you guys think and we go from there. And then if I like it that much, I wear it another time while I still have enough in the sample jar, I'll decide if I want to purchase the full bottle or not. So that is what this is about, testing the new Tarte Found Sealer Foundation. So if you're new to my channel and you like foundation reviews, give this video a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We definitely want to add you to the fam. Bam. And without further ado, if you want to see my thoughts and my first impressions and also a review on it at the end, then go ahead and keep on watching. So, we are going to do this today. Reading off a little bit of information on the Tarte Found Sealer. It has Babasu in here, which is like really this big thing that's been talked about. And a little bit about Babasu. It's a nourish moisturizing and soothing uh, plant slash oil um, so that's what this foundation is all about it's about hydration this summer I think a lot of brands are just gonna be bringing a lot of products that have a hyaluronic acid which is going to lock in that moisture into your skin and just like radiant and dewy foundations and products because the summer is about this glow and just looking really glowy and radiant and almost like natural um, but this one also has sunflower seed which is a rich in vitamin a and e to help hydrate regenerate and condition the skin okay this foundation is going to help hydrate and give the appearance of plumper skin while minimizing the appearance of fine lines and pores or fine lines and wrinkles protecting your skin with an spf of 20. this does retail for 39 dollars and i believe it comes in 30 shades Yes, it comes in 30 shades, so yeah, I wanted to test this out. There, So I am going to be wearing this for about, let's see, I'm getting ready for work now, so I'm about to, I'm probably going to be wearing this until like about 10 o'clock, so I will give you guys the update in the description box below or in the comment section, let you guys know how it felt, how it looked throughout the day. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch this because I am like pressed on time right now. Um, the first shade I have is medium tan sand, the second one is tan honey, and the third one is tan neutral. And my face is already moisturized, hydrated, and I will list all the products that I use down below. Oh, that's pretty. The second one is tan honey. And I went deeper in this because, like I said, this will be perfect for the summer, I feel, just off of reading, like, what it's about. Last one is tan neutral. So, I'm going to go in with tan honey. I think I like that one, which is in the middle. So, we will see. This one's picking up too, too pink for me. So, I'm going to wipe this off going in with a sponge I'm not going to use a brush I just go in typically with a sponge so I'm going to do that it's beautiful on the skin already definitely giving you like that hydrating um, feel it's really lightweight you guys know I love lightweight I don't want to feel like I'm wearing a mask um, and once I lock everything in with my setting spray and powders I'll be able to see you know but I do like the color I do like the color I'm wearing like a little half like short sleeve turtleneck today so my neck won't be out but I like the color definitely um, definitely will be perfect for when it gets uh, warmer and I start getting a bit tanner so so far so good with this I'm gonna actually go in with my power play cover F cover FX power play concealer this is what I've been using for the month of March 
as my concealer this one is a medium to full coverage so it's going to give me a little bit more coverage so I'm going to go ahead with this one under the eye down the bridge of my nose my forehead I'm going to put a little bit of the, the Josie Marin I can't talk today I'm going to put a little bit of the Josie Marin uh, Vibrancy Concealer in the shade Medium. I'm just going to put like a dot here. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to cake up the under eye, especially since I always get creasing anyway. And then I'm going to go ahead and set everything and do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back with my finished look. I just did something super simple. Put a little glitter right here. You probably can't even see it, but... Just did a bold lip because I really wanted to focus on this foundation today. So I would have to say that I like it right now. Um, this is with all my powders and everything like that. It's super glowy to me. It is like breaking up or maybe I put too much under my nose area. So it's a lot of product just, not a lot, but like a, there's some product sitting here. So I'll probably have to just touch up on that maybe throughout the day to see. Um, I should I should have color corrected because I was going to wear this lip, but eh, nevertheless, it looks really nice to me. This is what it looks like close up. So, so far I like it. I'll keep you guys posted as usual. And all the products that I use to create this look will be listed in the description box below. I know someone is going to ask me what lip this is. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Unicorn. And it looks like this. But that will be listed in the description box as well. So I really do like how it's still lightweight after me adding my bronzers, powders, highlighters, concealers, and all that jazz. So I definitely will say so far so good. And the color was actually pretty nice as well. You guys know I've been picking some shades that I thought was close to me that once it swatches on me it was a whole different ball game and some other foundation videos that I've done so yeah I'll keep you guys posted in the comment section below but until next time love peace and beauty I'll see you guys in my next one bye